Hey y'all, it is a very cold day today, uh, but I'm making chicken and dumplings. I'm not making it the hard way. I'm, tr I'm making it the easiest way I can to show I'm you. I'm also going to make a caramel cake, uh, just, but let's get started. Let's get to cooking. Uh, I want y'all to look at this price, fourteen oh eight for this right here. Now this is breast with uh, rib meat. I'm not a real fan of the boneless chicken breast, but it is good to use in casseroles and things like I'm making today. Now, I, one day I'll show you how I do the homemade dumplings, but today I don't have time and I'm wanting to do something quick and have something warm for us to eat this afternoon. So I'm just going to take this chicken and cut it up and I'm not even using much of it because it's just the two of us. So I'm going to use two of these breasts for our chicken and dumplings. All I'm going to do is cut this into bite-sized pieces. And I'm going to freeze the other four breasts for another meal. So my pan is heating up and I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. And then I am going to add some butter. But I'm putting some of that in there. Your butter will not burn if you mix it with olive oil. Of course, unless you put it on high. And I'm going to let this melt and get heated up. And then I'm going to add my chicken. I'm just going to saute it a little bit, get it brown. So our oil and our butter is hot, so I'm going to add our cut up chicken to the pan. You're not really cooking this chicken through, you're just sauteing it to get it a little brown. So to make my broth, I add hot water to my sauteed chicken. So some of you are going to think I'm crazy for making sweet tea on here. You think everybody knows how to make sweet tea, but honestly, they don't. My daughter mentioned it, suggested it the other day, and see, I do that a lot. I think, I just assume that people know, and then I get questions on Facebook or YouTube, and, and I'm thinking, they didn't know that. It is different in the South. We are Southerners. We're used to Southern sweet tea. It's so good. I think if I'm not wrong, that uh, movie Steel Magnolias said this is the wine of the South, and it is uh, Southern sweet tea. Now, I use three <laughs> tea bags. I like Lipton, but you can use any brand you want. I use the family size, and I use three of them. Uh, this is on like a medium high. I'm going to turn it down to medium. I need this to be done within an hour or so, so I'm going to probably keep it boiling at a good steady pace. Uh, if you didn't need to, you could put it in the crock pot. You could uh, just simmer it all day if you want to, whatever, however you want to cook it. But Sweet Hunter is always hungry when he gets home, and he always says, what's on the stove today <laughs> every time? It's chicken and dumplings, honey, with sweet tea and a caramel cake. Again, I use three tea bags. I'm, I'm going to pour this in the tea pit. You don't put your tea bags in first. You put the water in first. Now we're just going to hang our tea bags on the side of the tea pitcher, making sure the tea bags are down in the water. Then we're going to let it steep for about 20 to 30 minutes. Steep means to soak. Now this has been in here like a minute, and you can always already see the water turning dark. So next we're moving on to our cake. Our tea is steeping, our chicken is boiling, and I've got my oven preheated at 350. I went to my pantry to see if I had a yellow cake mix. I did not. But I can make this white, simple cake mix into a yellow cake mix by using whole eggs. Most of the time in a white cake, you use the egg whites. But in this, we're going to use the whole eggs to make it a yellow cake mix. While I'm fixing to start my cake, I'm going to put a lid on this chicken broth with the chicken, and I'm going to turn it down on low and let it simmer. All you're doing here is following the directions on the back of the cake mix. How easy is that? I heard someone say the other day that cooking a meal in your kitchen is like an orchestra playing. I thought that was beautiful. Now I'm just going to pour it in the sheet pan. So my oven should be preheated. I'm going to pop this cake in the oven. This cake is best served warm, but you can always rewarm it. And that will probably take about 30 minutes. Now we're going to do our tea. Our tea is steeped for about 30 minutes. Now I just take a spoon like this that's slotted with holes in it. I just get my tea bags up. 
let them drip and I just mash them on the side of the tea pitcher. You don't want to break the tea bags. You do not want grounds in your tea, but you do want that goodness, that good tea. And then before I add any more water, I'm going to add the sugar. I'm adding one cup of sugar to this. And then I'm going to stir it with that same spoon. And this is still hot, so it's going to dissolve good. I didn't warm it all the way to boiling stage, but I did heat this water. Because the key to making sweet tea to me, southern sweet tea, is dissolving that sugar. I love to drink this hot just like this, too. So we got our sweet tea made. We're going to move on to our chicken, which is probably ready for the dumplings. So this broth is probably reduced down to about half. If you want more broth, add more water and cook it a little bit more. This is perfect for us. And I'm going to show you how I make these special, simple dumplings. We got a cake in the oven. I've got chicken simmering on the stove ready for dumplings. And we made sweet tea. What a great day. These are so cheap. It's just an off-brand. Get the cheapest brand of canned biscuits you can get. And I'm going to show you how to do this. A lot of you already know, but some of you don't. So we'll just, All I do is take my kitchen scissors, and I just cut these in fourths. And drop them in separately. Very simple. If you want a quick, easy meal, they will immediately drop to the bottom and then come to the top. I usually use two cans of these for us because... We love the dumplings. They, these make the perfect dumplings. Now I can show you the hard way. I can show you, and I love to do that. I do. I love to make dough. Y'all know that. But this is easy. It's a cold day. We got a lot going on. So I wanted this simmering on the stove. But this is all I'm going to do is just cut these biscuits up. Can y'all see how they're floating to the top? And remember, you've got that good butter in there. You've got the olive oil in there in the broth and you've got the broth that the chicken made yummy now i'm gonna add pepper on top of this i love my dumplings with lots of pepper and i'm gonna add a little more salt to this and i'm gonna put the i'm gonna turn this down on low and simmer it with the lid on I love to add cream of chicken to my dumplings. I just think it's good. I just put it right in the middle and it sinks to the bottom. We won't be stirring it for a few minutes. It's just going to cook and simmer on the stove. Put the lid back on this for a few minutes. So this cake smells so good. The timer hasn't went off yet. But it looks so good. It looks like it's perfect. It's pulling away from the edges, and I can just feel and tell it's done. So in a saucepan, we're going to melt two sticks of butter. Next, you're going to add two and a half cups of sugar to your melted butter. My recipe calls for 12 ounces of evaporated milk, but I usually use about three quarters of the can, and it makes the perfect caramel sauce. Now I'm punching holes in my cake while it's still warm. Now we're moving right back over here to our caramel sauce. I just cook this on medium heat, stirring constantly, making sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, but waiting on it to get a little bit thicker. Let's check our dumplings. Don't they look beautiful? Very pretty. And these are done. I'm... Now we're moving back to our caramel sauce, just making sure we keep stirring until it thickens up some. Now we're going to pour this caramel sauce right over this warm cake and just let it sit and soak in. Now this cake is warm. It's ready to serve. Caramel topping on top. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious. Simple to make and delicious. I'm telling y'all. Chicken and dumplings. Honestly, you can work all day and make dumplings if you want to. Today. I did canned biscuits. Cheap canned biscuits, not the good ones. 
This is delicious. And sweet tea. Homemade dumplings sometimes intimidates people, but you can use these canned biscuits and I promise you they are great dumplings. Supper's ready, y'all. Here, we're just enjoying our supper, catching up on each other's day, talking about our plans for tomorrow. This is probably my favorite time of day. So I'm through with my chicken and dumplings. Sweet Hunter's still eating his. I couldn't wait to eat this caramel cake. So I want a Coke with mine. And what are you gonna drink? What are you gonna drink with yours? I think I'd like to have a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Looks good. You love it. You love this cake. Remember me mm -hmm. making it? Yeah. I've probably done a video on it before, but I uh, haven't made it in a long time. It is delicious. And y'all can freeze anything we fix today from the chicken and dumplings to the cake even to the tea, you can freeze it. You know, that's something we need to start doing because we waste a lot of tea, don't we? A lot. Yeah. So we need to start freezing our tea. I make a gallon at a time and um, that's a good idea. I got gallon jugs. So I'll probably just freeze half our tea because we waste it. That's a good idea. But you can, you can freeze everything that I fixed today from the chicken and dumplings to the cake Sweet Hunter loves to have the cake, any dessert, downstairs, don't you, in the freezer. And he can just go down there and pull. He's got chocolate cake down there. He's got Japanese fruit pie. He's got pecan pie. And now he'll have caramel cake in the freezer. But no, it was a good meal for a cold, windy day here. Yeah. 40 degrees with the wind blowing, so. Uh, it's 40 old, degrees now. Yeah, good old hot uh, chicken dumplings and a good old caramel cake. Hard to be. And a Coke and a cup of coffee and sweet tea. Y'all go cook something.